Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you so much for tuning in to this video where it's going to be slightly different and I'm back once again to deliver a theatre review. So last night me and my partner Emma ventured out to our local city Newcastle where we got a chance to see the Book of Mormon. Now my partner Emma has seen the Book of Mormon before so she knew about this theatre play whereas I was introduced to it for the first ever time but I've seen the poster advertised in many cities before and I've always thought wow this looks quite interesting but being honest with you I didn't know what who was around I just saw the poster and I was like wow I've heard this has got like a lot of hype and always won like a lot of awards and why I also found out that it's also was music lyrics and the book was written by Trey Parker, Robert Lopez and Matt Stone and if you're unfamiliar with Trey Parker and Matt Stone of course they created the animated show South Park. So yeah, very, very cool like backstory behind all of this. And I love that Robert Lopez has also worked on Avenue Q. So three people with huge, huge experience. And this, yeah, I very much enjoyed the Book of Mormon. I do want to shout out very quickly and give praise to the two main leads that we have of Elder Price and Elder Cunningham. Elder Price was played by Robert Colvin and Elder Cunningham was played by Connor Pearson. But a third shout out definitely goes to the character of Nabulungi who played by Aviva Tully. Yeah, all three were utterly fantastic in this musical and I've got to say if you're unfamiliar with kind of what the Book of Mormon is all around I'm not going to spoil it for you but just going to give you a little bit of a hint about what this is all around. The book follows two Latter-day Saint missionaries Elder Price and Elder Cunningham as they attempt to preach the faith of the church to the inhabitants of the remote Ugandan village. What, what can I honestly say about this fate to play? I thought it was utterly tremendous. I found myself laughing so much at this. I kind of felt like my feet tapping at the beats that was going on because like the music created was beautifully done and it really was just, they kind of like, get up and sometimes you want to kind of dance to it sometimes you felt like an emotional weight behind what was going on in the play and the music that was playing at that time and then also at times you were like like enthralled in the different kind of sounds and music that is played throughout because you've got some maybe like traditional songs and you got so not so many traditional songs and I love the blend and the uniqueness of this idea coming together and really represented in a great way which tells many great messages throughout this because it does touch on a lot of sometimes touchy and very sensitive subjects and yeah you know obviously you've kind of got to go in with an open mind and I'm going to be honest with you I felt by the end of it it really relayed like a nice message and kind of like a coming together of two different vast kind of continents and countries and really bringing that in together through an emotional, powerful, telling story. This play has you emotionally invested from the first second it opens up, right up until the end. I had some favourite songs in here. My favourite songs was the song that was closing up the first interval act, which I think was called Man Up, I Might Be Wrong. And then there was also a song not long after the interval, which is kind of focused on like very rock. That's all I'm going to say. I thought that was just a great, great song. And then there was also a musical song right at the end with the Ugandan people. But yeah, I'm not going to ruin any of that for you. Yeah, those were definitely my three. But I do want to praise all the performances in this musical, whether it's the ensemble, whether it's the swing, or the conductor is Colm O'Regan beautifully, fantastically and utterly makes you feel good. I walked out of this and I was saying to my partner because she's seen it before and she loved it and I was like wow that's so fantastic like why is it taking me so long to see this? I generally don't know. I think it was fantastic. I've got any negatives whatsoever. For me, it wasn't a negative whatsoever, but I do want to give a warning. As I said before, it does have some very sensitive and touchy subjects, so that isn't going to be for everyone. So if it's not for you, you're probably not going to like this musical, but if you're open to that matter, and if you're open just to kind of enjoy this musical for what it is, I think you're going to have an utterly fantastic time so i'm going to give the book of mormon 
a 9.5 out of 10. I truly think this was a fantastic musical. I had a great time and for anyone that's interested, the Book of Mormon is on currently at Newcastle right now from June 15th until July 9th and it might be touring over the UK or I think it is also stationed in London if I'm not mistaken so I will leave any links in the description box below for if you want to buy tickets to Newcastle or you want to buy them for it like anywhere in the UK or even if it's touring the US right now I'll leave any links that I have in the description box below so I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you've seen the Book of Mormon wherever that should be or if you are going to see it please leave any and all comments down below as I'd love to have a discussion with you more about it down there also please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you already have it and until the next time I see you I'll be seeing you later